when using être and avoir in the past. Hi, English speakers wanted in French. I'm Thomas Ricomar from the blog fastfrenchlearning.ch. Welcome in this video. I'm going to share with you five steps to know when using être and avoir in the past tense. Before sharing with you these five steps, I'm going to talk about the past tense, how to make a sentence in the past tense. So the past is an auxiliary, être or avoir, plus in the present tense, so an auxiliary être or avoir in the present tense, the conjugation is the present tense, plus the past participle. So for example, j'ai mangé des pommes, I ate apples, j'ai, ai, is the auxiliary avoir, manger, with the e at the end, the e with an accent, is the past participle. Je suis monté dans la voiture. Suis is the auxiliary être. Monté with the, at the end of the word, the e with the accent is the verb, but the past participle of the verb. The auxiliary être in the present tense is je suis, tu es, il, elle, est, nous sommes, vous êtes, ils, elles sont. The auxiliary avoir in the present tense is j'ai, tu as, il, elle, a, nous avons, vous avez, ils ont. Mostly we use the auxiliary avoir. So when we use the auxiliary être, let's go for the five steps. First, you need to check if in the sentence there's a direct object complement. You can find it with asking after the verb the question what or who. J'ai mangé des pommes. J'ai mangé quoi? Des pommes. Des pommes is the direct object complement. Il va rejoindre son ami. Il va rejoindre qui? Son ami. Son ami is the direct object complement. So when there is a direct object complement in the sentence, every time you'll use the auxiliary avoir. Second step, check if the sentence is at the passive form, means the auxiliary être in the past tense, the, the sentence is constructed with the auxiliary être in the past tense plus the past participle. J'ai été choqué par sa mort, I was shocked by his death. J'ai été, a été is the auxiliary être in the past tense. Choqué is the past participle. So the auxiliary être in the past tense is j'ai été, tu as été, il, elle a été, nous avons été, vous avez été, ils, elles ont été. The third step is to check if the verb is a pronominal verb. A pronominal verb is preceded by the pronoun se, se, at the infinitive form. For example, se laver, se raser, se regarder. But to recognize it in the singular is je me, tu te, il, elle, se. And in the plural is nous, nous, vous, vous, il, elle, se. Je me suis lavé ce matin, I washed this morning. Tu t'es lavé ce matin, you washed this morning. The fourth step is a very important step. This is the list, Dr. and Mrs. Van der Tramp. So each letter of Dr. and Mrs. Van der Tramp is the first letter of a verb which we will use with the auxiliary être. For D, devenir, to become. Elles sont devenues grandes. They grew up. R, revenir, to come back. Je suis revenu d'Afrique. I came back from Africa. M, monter, to go up, to get in, to get on. Nous sommes montés au premier étage. We went up to the first floor. Tu es monté dans le train. You got in the train. Elle est montée dans la voiture. She got in the car. R, rester. Elles sont restées à la plage. They stayed at the beach. 
S sortir. Nous sommes sortis de la gare. We went out of the station. V venir. To come. Vous êtes venu chez moi. You came to my house. A aller. To go. Elles sont allées au cinéma. They went to the cinema. N naître. To born. Je suis né à Paris. I was born in Paris. D descendre. To go down. Tu es descendu au rez-de-chaussée. You went down to the ground floor. E entrer. To enter or more informal to go. Il est entré dans la cuisine. He went into the kitchen. R rentrer. To go home. Nous sommes rentrés à la maison. We went back at home. T tombé. To fall. Vous êtes tombé sur les pierres. You have fallen on the stones. R retourné. They return or they to return or to go back. To return is more for the, the formal way to say it or more informal ways to go back. Ils sont retournés dans la maison de leur enfance. They went back. They returned to their childhood home. A arrivé to arrive. Je suis arrivé à Washington. I arrived in Washington. M mourir to die. Il est mort l'année dernière. He died last year. P partir to go to. Nous sommes partis dans le sud de la France. We went to the south of France. So we saw that the first step is using you use the auxiliary avoir. The steps two, three, and four you use the auxiliary être. And the last one, the fifth step, you use the auxiliary avoir. So if the sentence doesn't have a direct object complement, if the sentence is not at the passive form, if the verb is not a pronominal verb, and if the verb doesn't belong to this Dr. and Mrs. Van der Tramp list, so you use the auxiliary avoir. Thank you for watching this video. You'll find more examples below the video in my... Uh, you will find exercises below the videos in my blog and you will find more examples in the article in my blog. So you can subscribe to my blog if you want to receive your free ebook 12 tips to learn a language effectively and you can subscribe as well to my Facebook account, to my Instagram account and to my Twitter account and let me a comment if this video helped you to understand more when using the auxiliary être or avoir in the past tense tell me in the comments if you have questions tell me the questions in the comments write them below write them below the below the video and uh, if you like this video please share it on the social networks thanks bye